Hi, this is Kribakaran Rajendra and welcome to another video with Grow. So in this video, we are going to focus specifically about a positional trading strategy. See, with respect to markets in general, most of the money is made when the market moves big time. So if you just go and check the historical data of Nifty or Bank Nifty, you could see that most of the time, you no, know, the indices will be in a very tight range. But suddenly it will move out of that range and starts trending and again it will be in a very consolidation phase again it will start trending so when we do an intraday trading the, the problem with intraday trading is the time is very limited so between nine o'clock to three o'clock so we have only six hours of window so what happens is when the market trends it doesn't end with you no know, between nine o'clock to three o'clock it doesn't end at three o'clock it will continue to trend the next day and the next day. It will continue to trend as long as there is a buying pressure involved. So how do we capitalize it? So only way to capitalize such a big trending move is through positional trading. So how do we capitalize this trending move through positional trading with a specific strategy? So that is what we are going to focus on in today's video. So with respect to positional trading strategy, there are multiple indicators which are already available like moving average, super trend, ADX. There are multiple indicators available. But we wanted to keep this specific strategy very simple in nature. We don't want it to complicate it so that anybody could easily execute it. So the chart that we see right now is an intraday chart. As you could see, even though the market is trending you know, from morning to evening by you know, going in a downtrend, so there were sudden reversals that has happened. And where you know, during this frame, during this particular period, most of the intraday traders would have closed thinking that the trend has changed but the next day as you could see the market opened gap down and again it continued to move down so this is what happens when you get into a trending phase so the market doesn't end the trend when the you know the intraday timing is over it will continue to trend in the same direction as long as you know, the same selling pressure or buying pressure is involved so that is why in order to capitalize this we are moving away from five minutes time frame to daily time frame so once we move to the daily time frame, we can clearly identify the trending moves. So as you could see in this chart, the trending move is clearly visible where you, know, you can see how the overall market has moved down during the initial period where you know, it was totally in a downtrending move. And again, you know, once the downtrend move is over, it again resumed its uptrend, which is in a one-sided way. So when we try to zoom out and check, when we try to avoid the noise from moving from lower time frame to higher time frame, it is easily you know you can easily identify the trend where you know, whether it is downtrend or uptrend by moving to a higher time frame we can easily identify the trend so now how do we identify the right time to enter and right time to exit so that is where we are going to use a concept called turtle trading concept so this is one of a concept which was widely used during the you know, 1980s period by richard dennis so how do we identify the trending zone so for that we are going to use a simple breakout mechanism which is nothing but find out what is the last 20 days high price. So if there are no n number of days in the last 20 days, whatever is the high price of that specific indices or stock, that high price is our going to be our breakout level. And when that high price is crossed, we are going to enter. Similarly, track what is the last 10 days low price. So when the last 10 days lowest low price is crossed, then that is our trigger to sell. So you have an entry point, you have an exit point. So the entry point, you have 20 days of high period. Exit point, you have only 10 days of you know, low period. Because when the market reverses, it reverses very quickly. So we don't want it to give enough, no more number of time for the stock to go against us. So the moment we see a specific stock or you know, a specific indices is going against us, we are going to exit from it. That is why for entry, we are going to use last 20 days highest high price. And for exit, we are going to use last 20 days, last 10 days, lowest low price. So once these levels are crossed, we are going to enter and exit. So how do we plot these level in a chart? That is what we are going to see now. So I have opened the trading view chart now. So I just have to add this indicator, which is going to tell me when to enter and when to exit automatically. So you don't need to identify the levels. The script itself will identify the levels for you. So you just have to go to trading view, open nifty chart and select on chain breakout strategy and once you apply that automatically it will plot when to enter and when to exit so as you can clearly see from the chart so whenever these last 20 days high is broken so then it gives you a long signal and then you just go along and as long as market moves up 
the trailing stop loss will also move up the trailing stop loss is nothing but what is the last 10 days lowest to low price so that will automatically get tracked and know oh, the moment the last 10 days low price is broken then it gives you exit signal as you could see here the entry was almost given at 17800 here and the exit was given approximately around 19,500 levels. So almost you can make you know 2,000 points of overall profit just with only one trade by moving into daily time. So you don't need to do much you know, analysis here. All you have to do is plot the chart and find out, wait for the market to give you a signal. So the moment it gives you a signal where the last 20 days high or last 10 days low is broken, we are going to enter into it. So we can easily identify both uptrend and downtrend here. So as you can see here, you know, this complete downtrend has been captured. So people either they can do two things, either they can go only long, like whenever it is you not know, triggering long, they can take only buy trades. And when it is giving you exit long, they can just exit the, you know, exit the overall long trades. They don't need to go for short. So people wanted to trade only long, they can do this. They can just buy and exit. They don't need to go short. People want to trade both long and short. So what they can do is the moment it you know gives a long signal, they can go and buy it. And the moment it gives you exit signal for long, they can close the long and get into a short position. So this way it will be considered as a SAR type of system, which you know which you call it as stop and reverse kind of a system where you go long and close the long and go short. Again, go long, you know, close the short and go long. So Likewise, you can you no know, do a stop and reverse, or you can just you no know, do a trade only on a long only basis, where as long as the market moves up, you make good money here. So this specific strategy, what I'm showing currently, is only for you know, Nifty now. So you can apply it for Bank Nifty as well. So I'll just change it here to Bank Nifty. So as you could see, even if I change it to Bank Nifty, the overall signal changes. So you can try it for Nifty, Bank Nifty, Pin Nifty. You can try it for any kind of instruments that you want even if you wanted to trade so based on this you can directly trade with futures or you can know directly trade with options also whenever there is a long entry ticket you can go and directly buy atm options atm call options at that particular level and whenever it gives you a sales signal you can just close its specific atm options so this way whenever the market trends big time you can easily able to capitalize that whole trending move so how do we apply this specific strategy to stocks so we'll see that now so when you're trading with indices you have only one option like you're going to trade only that instrument whether it is a bank nifty nifty or pin nifty whatever it is you're going to select that instrument and you're going to trade only with respect to that future segment or you're going to trade with the respective atm call options or put options so instead of doing all this analysis through charts and finding out which specific stocks has given you a 20 days breakout there is a free scanner that is readily available where you just have to go and run the scanner that will automatically scan what are the list of stocks that are satisfy that specific condition of you no know, crossing the last 20 days high level so using that you can easily pick those stocks and you can go long in it so let me show you how you can access that specific free scanner so you have to go to a platform called chartink.com so chartink is a free you know website where you can access free scanners so once you go there click on screeners so once you click on screeners you can type 20 days breakout and then click on search scan so that will automatically give you, you know a couple of uh, scans which is already pre-built by many users so you just have to click on this 20 days breakout so which is nothing but you no know, the which shows you what are the list of stocks that has crossed last 20 days highest high price so for an example i have selected segment like nifty 200 like you can select nifty 100 stocks and then you can run the scan so you can run the scan based on whatever the universe of stocks that you wanted to run, you know find it out so for this example i have just tried running what are the list of stocks that are satisfy the condition from nifty 100 list so in that list stocks like zomato info edge ircTC, these stocks three three stocks are satisfy the condition of breaking last 20 days high so you can directly get into that and you can exit whenever it gives you exit signal so the exit signal is nothing but you can directly go to trading view and plot zomato and once zomato gives you a sell signal there as per the down chain indicator you can exit it so as you can see here the zomato has given already saying you know given a long knell a few days back where you no know, the long which was entered during the july month is still valid so you know it was entered approximately around 84 rupees and currently it is around 95 rupees so as long as the market keeps moving up, as long as Zomato keeps moving up, this buy signal will be valid. 
only when it goes below this you no know, last 10 days lowest price only then the sell signal will be coming and then only you have to exit the stock so if you are confused which stock to choose directly go and run the scanner in the you no know, scanner charting.com website that is going to give you a list of stocks and from that you can pick up and then plot it in trading view and then based on the entry and exit signal you can enter into that stock and exit it whenever it gives you an exit signal so with respect to the you know screener you can select any kind of stock in say suppose i wanted to find out what are the list of stocks that are satisfied the specific condition of breaking last 20 days high in future segment i can just select futures from the drop down here and then run the scan so that is going to tell me what are the list of stocks that are part of fno as given the long signals similarly if i wanted to change it to nifty 50 so if someone wanted to trade only for large cap stocks they can see whether any stocks are satisfied the condition or not if you run the scan and if it gives you no stocks filtered which means that there are no specific stocks which are part of nifty 50 and satisfy this condition so you can know you are not going to place any trade with respect to nifty 50. so likewise you can keep changing no any of these instruments you can select etfs also and run scan and see what are the list of etfs that has crossed and also you can you know if you wanted to widen the basket to nifty 500 you can select so that it can give you a lot many number of stocks and from that you can choose whatever the stocks that you wanted to trade so with respect to the positional trading strategy this is the overall view of the strategy where the basic idea is to capture the trend with respect to the instrument which you trade so you can trade it with respect to bank nifty nifty or fin nifty whatever the futures instrument indices or you can trade with any kind of stocks also so the basic idea of entering into the stock is based on the down chain channel breakout where when the last 20 days high is crossed you're going to enter into it similarly when the last 10 days low is crossed you're going to exit from it so that is the entry and exit signal for you and if you wanted to do this you can directly do it through trading view which i've explained you can go to trading view and type the you no know, symbol or the script which i have mentioned and it is automatically going to plot the overall entry signal and exit signal for you so people who wanted to go only long they can go and take the entry trades like whenever it gives you entry go long and whenever it gives you an exit long signal just exit from it people who wanted to do both long and short they can do an SAR type of strategy stop and reverse where they can enter the long position and once the long position is given exit signal you exit the long signal and then go short and again no when the short signal is exited when again a new long position is created you can exit the short position and create a new long position so this is how you can trade it and people who wanted to trade with respect to stocks as i mentioned they can directly run the free scanner using charting so this is the overall gist of the strategy and if you are deploying it with respect to stocks i would recommend you not to put more than 10 to 15 percent of your capital in one stock so say suppose if five different stocks is given you buy signal so what you can do is you can allocate it equally so don't put all your whole full capital in just one stock because of the diversification risk because if you don't diversify and if there are any bad news that happens with respect to that stock you can lose no much higher money so that the wise thing to do with respect to stocks is do not put more than 10 to 15 percent of your overall capital in just one trade if it is with indices it's not a problem because indices is already well diversified and you know it has a very least risk so it's better to know deploy your capital with respect to indices you can deploy all your capital but with respect to stocks you know limit your overall exposure to that one specific stock it's better to diversify with multiple stocks and then put your capital into it so this is the overall no gist of the strategy in case if you guys have any doubts please post it in the comment section i'll address it thank you Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.